Hello everybody, great to see you all again. So today we're going to be looking at briefly hedging in academic writing. So what does hedging mean? Well, hedging refers to when you're not really sure of something or certain, when it's not a fact, when you're not 100% sure, you're going to use what we call hedging language or hedging vocabulary, right? So you're playing it safe, really, okay, when you're not 100% sure of something. And it's good practice when you're writing your academic essays to use what we call hedging language when you're not sure about something. You can see there in the red speech bubble some examples. Please do have a look at those examples in your free time. But if we look at the bottom sentences there, we got an example with some uh, hedging language. Let me read the sentence out to you. So. Uh, Wiseman suggested that polar bears hibernate, presumably to conserve the fat in their bodies. Can you spot the hedging language there? So if you remember what I was mentioning about hedging language, when you're not really sure about something, when it's not a fact, what would be the language there? It's going to be suggested, right? So suggested, right? Because Wiseman is pro perhaps not really 100% sure of that, right? So suggested would be the hedging language there. Let's have a look at some other hedging language such as uh, maybe appear to be or think or suggest, possibly or even maybe. So you can use this vocabulary in your academic writing when you're not sure about something. All right, everybody. Hope this gives you some uh, good tips on hedging. Take care and stay awesome.